Hello my friends, this is Jose from Novita. Today I'm talking about how to start your day with, I mean, feeling charged and ready to go. So I know that everybody has this different way to approach, to approach the morning and, you know, some people like to wake up excited and, you know, and others prefer to slow down and relax before they start their day. I mean, I'm, I'm this kind of guy normally. So the key is really to find what works best for you and stick with it, you know. And this will allow you to, for example, to get this good jump start on your day and feel ready for whatever comes, you know. I know it's easier said than done, but having this productive morning, this routine is really important to get, you know, get things done in, in the day, you know. And there are simple activities that are proven ways to start in this positive way, you know. So, for example, instead of diving directly into emails, Facebook, or focus yourself on the first thing in your morning. This will help you to maintain the self-control, energy level, you know. Getting up and exercising, for example, even just 10 minutes gives us energy, helps us, you know, remain in control of our impulses, our day of energy, and, you know, this is a good way to start, you know. I know that for many people waking up in the morning is, is challenging, you know, it's normal. Even if you have had a, a good um, night's sleep, for example, sometimes it's tough to leaving, um, to get up and, you know, and get to do this first thing in the morning that it's, it's waiting for us. So this task, I mean, at work or something, you know, there are simple ways we can start each day feeling calm, motivated and ready to go. So, for example, um, have a to-do list. This gives you a sense of accomplishment already because you have already, you know what you want. You know, set this positive intention to your day. Focus on, focus on a gratitude, for example, to write, in, write your goals in the morning. Write down, I, I was, there was a time I wrote every day. I copied my goals, you know, this is a technique, I mean, attraction, uh, like it's, uh, I mean, um, uh, law of attraction and, you know, writing down, for example, this intention makes you to keep your mind um, motivated to go everything, you know, without losing focus. But as I said before, exercise is a good way, it's a good way to start each day. Because, you know, choose activities, for example, that suits also your lifestyle. You know, because, I mean, it's not easy to go with stuff where you need to go to the gym, for example. Um, run in the park or run on the neighborhood or something or just go to a walk uh, with nature around you. I mean, it's different for everyone. You chat with friends sometimes also on the phone or listen to music at the same time when you're working out. It's also enjoyable. So another tip for sticking to an exercise is to schedule it. That means as you would do for a meeting, an appointment or something, set an appointment uh, with yourself each day and write it on your, write it in your calendar, for example, it would help you to stick to it, you know, and put it also on a sticker if you want. So, very important also is to eat a healthy breakfast. And this helps set our um, motivation for the day. And it boosts our energy also because we need nutrition, of course. And so, you know, it also kickstarts our metabolism, like the exercise. And um, avoid, for example, also stuff that's high in sugar. And because this sometimes makes us afterwards feeling sluggish and craving for more. It's, it's I mean, it's known, but I'm, it's, it's my experience, believe me, you know. If you don't like to eat breakfast also, Consider mixing, for example, a milkshake or something with fruits and proteins. It's easier to drink and, you know, taking a warm bath or shower. I know that people take a, I mean, there's also another technique, taking cold shower. But when you take a warm bath, or at least for me, or shower, it helps re really have this positive feeling tone for the day. And this helps reduce our stress levels and anxiety. So I know also some people love to take the bath before they go to sleep. This also unwinds, unwinds from the day and relaxes. It's, you know, so everyone, everybody has his own way, you know, but no matter what, you know, it's important that you allow yourself to do it and in a relaxed way.
I don't rush it, really don't rush it. The more you rush, the more likely you are feeling, for example, agitated and take the time to make sure that you are able to do each thing calmly. You know, I know this is a stressful word and it's against all, I mean, all the, all, all, all things that are praised sometimes, but, you know, it makes you feel a lot better. You know, it's your life. It's our life. We must live it our way. Don't bother with the others, okay? Go jogging, go for a walk. When we run out, you know, in the morning or something, you know, it, we enjoy fresh air. And I know I'm guilty of this, but I mean, it's winter and it's, um, it, the better days are coming. And, you know, it, it's being the nature that clears our mind. And, you know, run or walking also this helps us to be in the present. And it's, it's a good way to get our day started. You know, when you exercise, it increases our, um, uh, I mean, boosts our, uh, in, in, it um, increases our blood flow, oxygenize our, our, our brain, um, it raises hormones that helps boost energy, for example. So, you know, to ensure, it, you must ensure that you enjoy everything you do. Try to listen to music at the same time, or podcast, or, you know, like I have, but pick something, or playlist also, with fast-paced tracks to pump you up. So make sure you wear comfortable clothes and stay hydrated. You know, all this, all this, um, it's, you know, remember that the first step to feeling energized and happy in the morning is getting enough sleep, is being, having these goals for you, you know. If you're walking uh, around irritable, you know, you may not be enough, you have, for example, not enough slept or something. So when it comes also to goal setting, it's important to set these realistic goals about what you can achieve and don't over promise yourself. You know, if you set things too high, for example, you are like you, you get discouraged sometimes. Aim to small things that you know you can meet and then build up on this, you know. So changing your routine also will keep you interest, you know, sometimes. So you know, let me know in the comments in what did it help you and what did you had insights like I had. So this helps us to really go on with our lives, right? So this meant to be useful, insightful, inspiring. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe also to your newsletter or our newsletter in at luovita.com. Once a week I send out really insightful ideas, you know, thoughts and it's a, it's, it's a strategy that you can put up for yourself to see things differently. So I invite you to do that and don't forget to subscribe. And you know, very important, take care of yourself and courage. Until next time, bye bye.